When I lived in Miami Beach, I read an article in a Omni magazine about the McGraw Institute. Robert Romero was a radio computer mayor in the late 50s. One day he was sleeping, he felt himself drifting outside of his body. He thought he was dying. He had this experience recurring every month or so. Finally, he went to the doctor. He was concerned that he was going crazy or he had some major illness. Robert told the doctor what was happening, and the doctor told him that maybe he was having an out-of-body experience. He recommended some books to read on the subject. Robert Monroe learned that his experiences were about the same as his. Maybe he wasn't so crazy after all. The experience kept on coming. Being a radio engineer, he thought, can I produce this experience by using sound waves? After years of research, he learned to utilize sound waves. He came up with a system which uses sound waves to trigger the right and left hemisphere, hemispinctical synchronization of the brain. This technique can be modified for learning, health, exploring, etc. The Omni article said he had a week-long course in the foothills of Virginia. I was fascinated by this article, called the office, and found out there was an opening for the course. This course is called Gateways. I arrived at the, at the site of the course and was captivated by the beauty of the place. The site was in the mountains. There were a few houses in the property. The foundation owned a good chunk of land. We were oriented what, on, what, on, on days of what to be. It took away our watches, so we had no idea what time it was. This is no ordinary course. Most courses I know are a lecture. This course was based upon experience. At the Institute, our actual living quarters was our laboratory. Each bed had its own individual unit. There were headphones with a microphone, which I'll, I'll tell about later. There was a curtain which closed off the, the bed so no light could come in. Each unit was totally self-contained. At the first <coughs> meeting, <coughs> they told us a schedule. We would get up in the morning, shower, and then play a series of tapes. After each tape, we would go to a conference room and talk about our experience. We would do this throughout the day. We would have lunch and breaks throughout the day. Day one started. We learned about Focus 10. The step was about how to put out to put your body asleep at the same time to keep our mind awake. The tapes were incredibly produced. We put on these headphones, lie down on our bed, and have these incredible experiences. Day after day, the experiences would build on each other. I remember some experience being completely taken out, out of my body and being bathed in light. There were talks with angels. I called the Monroe Institute the distant land of spirituality. It was amazing to go to a place and see modern scientific equipment being used for self-discovery. So many of these tapes were for our own self-discovery. Self-discovery. I remember in some tapes, I could hardly walk afterwards. I was quite shy and didn't talk too much about my experiences. I would recommend this program to anybody. During our course, we had a doctor, minister, computer programmers, housewives, and people from all walks of life. It was definitely worth it. Robert Monroe is definitely an amazing man. He's definitely on the cutting edge of technology. Intro. This is Richard Fletcher, Monday, October something, second day of the Gateway Program. I would like to say at this point, I'm diving deeper and discovering more of myself, and I'm very impressed by the whole operation that is happening around here. Energy Bar Tool. My experience was building the energy bar was going to take some time to get into in order to develop it. It wasn't too hard to construct. My experience was very simple. I kind of drifted to sleep. I wasn't there for the whole time, but I had some powerful connections beforehand to see this energy bar could take me to another dimension. It could take me to the other side. It definitely has endless possibilities for what this bar can be used for. 
that I can use this bar as a beacon to attract my guides or to use it to protect me from other things that looks like a versatile tool. I just need to develop more and more usage of it. Freeform 10. This tape was Freeform 10. My experience was using the energy bar and trying to see and trying to feel how I could actually use it in a practical form. I used this energy bar to create a vibration inside of me that was vibrating faster, 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 and faster. I then used the energy bar to go up and down my body. I used it like a laser to take away all the negative energy and purities from my body. I would then take it into my brain and subconscious. From there, it turned my dark subconscious into light. From there, I had the ability to be more conscious. Then I used the energy bar to create swirling effects around my body. This would create a much more intense kind of energy. I put this energy bar in my third eye. I was experiencing an inner dimension. Liftoff. This is the liftoff tape. This tape, I found myself through the roof, through, I lifted myself through the roof, through the clouds, past the moon. I lifted myself and then lowered myself down. I was putting together the kinesiology of actual lifting up. Introduction to Focus 12. Be before the tape even began, I was just completely sailing inside. I was totally just accepting myself. I was trying to accept my hesitations. Hesitations is your friend. Just go inside and enjoy the experience, just like a child. In the focus 12 state is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful state. It is a state of freedom, of joy, and of happiness. It was an expanded state of awareness. I was experiencing this state just like a child. A child just accepts and accepts. This is the place I want to be all the time, the place of acceptance. If the hesitation is there, accept it just like a friend. It's okay. I don't have to control any kind of experience. All I have to do is ride on that energy. Just ride on that joy. Just ride on that beauty and ride on that light. All I have to do is let the experience come to me on its own accord. I know what I'm, what I'm looking for and I know it's happening moment by moment. It will open up to me in its prime moment. In the meantime, I will just enjoy each experience that comes to me. I'm putting my attention on what is coming my way. I'm not being directed towards one aspect of what I think is supposed to happen, but just to have an open mind. Focus 12 is such a beautiful state. I've been there many, many times before. Problem solving. This tape is called Problem Solving. My problem that I was trying to solve was the question, how can I practically leave my body consciously? I had this one vision walking down the stairs from the gateway program, from upstairs to downstairs. And then the answer came to me that I'm learning the tools. <laughs> Don't really worry about it. Everything will simply come to you. It's just a matter of relaxing into that experience and just accept it. It will come in due time. Most of us, most of all, just be patient. It will come. <coughs> there are means. This is not a supernatural thing. If you practice, it will happen. It will manifest. This was the question I put out and I waited. And this was the answer that I got. I'm just learning how to more visualize and to see images and to accept images. There's something for me to learn from these images. In the past, I would ignore them, but I know not to look at them. I now know to look at them and to embrace them. Free Flow 12. The name of this tape is Free Flow 12. My main objective was to explore this state of consciousness. I just let go and just enjoy this state of consciousness. It's very beautiful that experience I had. I was just bathing in the light of experiencing that beautiful vibration inside. I was just riding that wave and riding that energy inside. I saw a picture of a person named Catherine who was there. 
I was just experiencing her inner beauty and her happiness. I was just experiencing a very simple friendship. It was very beautiful and very simple. I just rode with that experience and was open to various non-verbal communication experiences. I have, the, I have the ability inside of me. It's there and it's latent, and I have <coughs> experience with my uh, with experience with my brother. Overall, it's a very simple, beautiful experience. It was beautiful to see the potential that is there. I'm very happy with this place. I'm very happy to partake <coughs> in this program, just to relax and swim and socialize. I feel I'm really establishing a stronger connection inside. Free movement. The name of this tape <coughs> is free movement. There are different positions to leave the body. The first one was the most powerful. I feel with this technique, I can master it with some practice. It's a very powerful way to explore different worlds and dimensions inside of myself. The next thing was lifting myself up from a a string lying down and lifting myself up at a 45 degree angle. This is very powerful. All in all, I can see that, see the glimpse that I can experience the freedom that I want. I see that it's happening. In the long road, I will definitely have that experience. Five questions. There's the tape called Five Questions. The first question is, who am I? My last lifetime, I realized I was a student of Ramakrishna a famous Indian state saint in the 1800s. My name was M. I wrote the Gospel of Ramakrishna. That's what, that's what I read the autobiography of a yogi, completely identified with Yogananda. Yogananda would come and see me as a child. My next question is, what is my purpose here? My purpose here on earth is to expand, become completely one with the Lord, and to express his knowledge and love. Also to establish the kind of communication a human being can have with his creator. The message that I was told to do was keep on trucking, keep on going, and I will be led to areas I never knew existed. This workshop that I'm doing is something I wanted to do for a long time. All my dreams and aspirations are coming true. This tape was delightful just to go deeper and deeper into this experience non-verbal communication. I just can't believe it. This tape is non-verbal communication. I just got totally taken away. I saw all these incredible things, lights coming on my navel, blooming to a lotus blossom, a Christmas tree with Lord Jesus on it. The next thing I knew around this table were people from outer space sitting around. They were just talking to me and there was such a feeling of love, energy, emotion, excitement, and joy. My whole body was sweating and tears of joy were steaming down my face. Now I know what the experience at NBC is. It's such an incredible place and experience. This is the type of communication that human beings are meant to have. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just totally, totally, 100% fulfilled. I just can't believe this. This form of communication is so beautiful. Just to see and feel the kind of commu communication that we can have. Just pure love being transferred. Introduction to Focus 15. This tape was the introduction to Focus 15. My experience of this time was to sense and experience a state of no time. There was a tremendous void a tremendous light inside of me. By being with this light, it's possible to travel to any time zone, past, present, and future. It's wonderful to know that through this experience, I can learn to do so. I can slowly just ease myself into this consciousness. It's incredible to know that there's a place that is beyond time. There is so much energy that it's hard to get used to. Free Frollo 15. This tape was free flow 15. I experienced, I experienced a beautiful love with Kathy. I experienced a beautiful connection between us. I just completely want to dive into that experience. I know I've met her before, but I don't remember where. See, maledict experience. My daughter was there and her daughter was there. 
We were all playing and laughing together. It was so much fun. We were all experiencing so much joy and happiness. No tape experience. This was the no tape experience. This is like all, this was like all the rest of the tapes. I brought myself into 10, then 12, then 15. All the states, states I experienced in an inner NBC communication, I just rode this inner wave that keep on getting faster and faster and faster. I found myself in the various states of consciousness. It was so easy to just go right through them. When I reached fifth, the 15th state, I just explored that state. It was so beautiful to be in this place where there's no time, just love, light, and happiness. We don't need these tapes. They're just like training wheels on a bicycle. It's nice to know there's a technique that we can use to experience this. The silence is wonderful and beautiful. I'm very happy to know that I can incorporate this into my life. It's all happening. What incredible love that exists inside. It's so natural and beautiful. Communication point 15. Communication point 15. I went to a state and asked for any kind of messages. The messages I received were in the form in NBC for verbal communication. My first message was a picture of Kathy. The next picture was an image of a dove, which gave me peace. Then I was brought up and saw the image of Sri Maharaji. My whole feeling was sensed. My whole feeling was sensing, discovering that there's a communication in this state is where communication can, can occur between your guides and teachers. They can, in this state, teach you and communicate with you. They communicate not so much with words, but with images. They can transmit their experiences through images. I just need to learn more and more about this. I'm very hopeful about communication, communicating with my guides. No name tape. Before this tape started, they played Amazing Grace. I couldn't believe what was going on. Miraji was there in his crown and glory. It brought me back where I was 15 years ago. It was very emotional and I cried a lot. Just to experience the joy inside. Amazing Grace. This life is truly amazing. It really is glorious. I then kind of drifted off when I came back. I was surrounded by swans. I really tried to do the tape, but with some of the techniques I couldn't quite understand. The main thing I wanted to emphasize was an amazing grace. It truly is amazing. Amazing beyond words. That is the main thing I wanted to communicate. Relation Galaxy. The name of this tape was Relation Galaxy. At this point, I was supposed to put on my headphones. I was just totally God. I went to this place, the center of the universe. At the center was this incredible power of love. The primordial energy for this universe. It was beyond words to explain, to experience the unity of the universe being supported by this primordial vibration. I saw in this state swans and a beautiful lotus flower that was blooming and blooming. There it exists in this place, all the great masters. There exists that divine light, the light of God, which exists everywhere. This is such a wonderful place to be. I, ex I was experiencing my body like an astronaut experiencing the various G-forces. 
My whole body was totally contorted. I'm still not out of that place. I just want to live there and dwell there. Five messages. The name of this message was Five Messages. The fifth message was I was had something to do in December. There is a mission that I'm getting prepared for. I moved from Miami to California with Catherine in December. My fourth one was that I should be good friends with Kathy. The number one message was devotion to the Lord. I should be an example of this. The Lord wants love. Number two was that everything I ever desired will come true. All my dreams will be satisfied. Another purpose that came to me was to love everybody I encounter. I should be an example of accepting people of who they are and love them without condition. I should be a simple messenger of the Lord. I don't remember the other one. Vibe Flow. This tape was called Vibe Flow. This is a real nice tape. Bob Robert Monroe just increased the frequency level. I just got in tune with that frequency level. I just went higher and higher and higher. Shh. I was totally absorbed in that energy. Half that experience was traveling at the speed of light. It was like being in, in a rocket going faster than warp speed. It was traveling at the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second. Next on the tape was music from this session. I forgot to turn off the tape. I was completely blown away. I was in total bliss. This music just brings me back to that state. I was in total awe. There was a laughter in the back background. The rest of the people were discussing their experiences. Side two. During this music, I was seeing, seeing a picture of Sri Maharaji, Maharaji's father. I saw an image of Sri Maharaji holding Maharaji. I had an NVC experience of going into a dream and coming out and realizing this was an NVC experience. I just wanted to go back inside for a few more minutes. I could very easily just leave and never come back. Long pause. 15 to 20. The name of this tape was 15 to 20. I felt I was resonating with the colors green and purple. It will take me time to slowly know what this experience means. Slowly I will begin to understand all this. Long pause. Music is playing in the background. One One Pattering. This tape is called One One Pattering. I kind of zoned out of this tape. I see I just have to have something in my mind, hold it and repeat it every single day and will come true. By putting my subconscious over time, it will come to existence. I am incorporating everything in my life. The main key is to utilize these tools in my life. I am the director of my life. I am in charge of maintaining and expressing my emotions. At the same time, I just enjoyed the feeling of love that was all around. I had such a peaceful rest I forgot to turn off the tape, long periods of silence. Freeform 21. The name of this tape is Freeform 21. I just got totally taken inside of me. I just really enjoyed the experience inside of myself. The joy and peace were overflowing. All my guides and teachers were there. Once again, I forgot to turn off the tape. Freeform 15. My experience on Freeform 15 was completely wonderful. I went to such a deep place inside. I had this wonderful experience that happened there. Catherine was there and we're just beings of light. There was this big heart that surrounded us. We were just one in that heart. Out of that heart, our souls just merged. From the light came from my third eye and Catherine's third eye. It was like two laser beams of light and love merging into our bodies. We just totally became one. It was like a sexual experience, but it didn't contain sexual energy. It was just pure love. We were both totally fulfilled in that love, in that joy, 
in that happiness. I was inside of her and she was just riding the wave of love. Both of us were in tune and in synchronization and experienced the oneness of each other. Coming for her breast was this liquid light which I was drinking. Each drop tasted like nectar. I was completely intoxicated. At one point her daughter appeared, my daughter appeared, and we all hugged each other. We were all laughing and dancing and singing. It was just like a family of love, beings of love. Another point after this self-expression, Catherine just laid on top of me. I just totally melted into her. We just exchanged the beautiful love that existed between us. Both of us were totally saturated in that love. We were both in tune with each other. It was such a wonderful feeling. I feel I've known her for a while. I don't know where. Somehow there's a connection between Catherine, myself, and Shreem Raji. <coughs> I haven't figured it out. I just have these feelings that, is, that something beautiful and simple is manifesting in my life. I'm open to it. Later on, in one of my tapes, I received a message that on Thanksgiving, my daughter and I should go and visit Catherine and her child in Virginia. We should just go and play and have fun. Introduction to Focus 21. The introduction to Focus 21 was completely a mind-blowing experience. As soon as I put on my headphones, I was tuned into that light. I was completely submerged in that light inside. I was just totally taken over. I was flying with a whole group of swans. There was this beautiful lake where thousands of lotus flowers were just blooming and blooming. I went through the various stages of consciousness. I went from 10 to 12 to 15 to the, all the different colors. At 21, a marvelous thing happened. Bob was there, Robert Monroe, and he was just shining. He was his joyful self. He just looked up to me smiling and gave me the thumbs up sign. He said, go for it and enjoy that experience. There was so much love and communication between us. I recognized him and he recognized me. Both of us know that this is an incredible journey, the ultimate journey. Once he said that, I was completely ready to accept and experience that wonderful light of my existence. I then went to a place where I experienced a light that was supreme love and intelligence. Every single cell of my existence was filled with this intelligence. I was just one and bathing in that light and joy. I was just flying like a swan. I was just flying like that beautiful bird. That swan is free. I felt like my soul was free. My soul was just singing in that joy and happiness inside. I was just one. It was so wonderful. Freeform 21. One of the most amazing tape experiences was Freeform 21. I don't think there's any words to describe what happened there. For the moment I put on my headphones throughout the entire process, I was riding the waves of ecstasy and joy. Technically, Bob Monroe was a genius to develop that tape. The sound that he was emitting were the sounds and frequencies that reside inside. It was completely a marvelous experience. I was completely experiencing the oneness of joy. I had these visions of Catherine. She would just smile at me and just drift off. Once again, I would dive deeper and deeper into that experience inside. I would go deeper and deeper into that light. My whole body was like an astronaut experiencing the G-force. I was experiencing how powerful and incredible the energy is. This energy touches my whole molecular structure and even beyond that. It reaches the soul and the very essence of life. I felt so wonderful that everything is on track in my life. I have a vision, a quest, and it's happening. All my dreams are coming true on all levels. One experience that I want to express, I went to bed on the last night of the program about 12 o'clock. I was kind of tired. I just needed to go inside and experience that inner beauty. I drifted off to sleep and was just in that place of love. I was in a nice deep sleep. Around three o'clock in the morning, I was, I was woke up with a bang. I automatically just woke up. Something inside of me told me to go take a shower and go see Catherine. 
I did this. I was kind of hesitant. What am I doing? I just had this faith and intuition to do this. I went up to Catherine's room and very quietly walked into her room. I opened up her curtain and very slowly touched her. She looked at me and she couldn't tell. She was in a state of shock herself. She thought at first I was a ghost. All she could see was my head because the rest of the body was behind the curtain. She looked at me and said, is that you or is it a ghost? I reassured her, reassured her that yes, it was me. I just climbed into bed with her and just held her the rest of the night. We just exchanged the feeling of love that we had. We just caressed each other and loved each other. It was such a warm inner exchange of love. It wasn't a sexual energy. It was like the energy of love, of satisfaction and of joy. It was a wonderful experience. At times I would find myself snoring. My body was asleep, but I was a wide awake. I was such in a beautiful state inside. I was con completely surrounded by love. That's all these beautiful swans completely surrounding us. They were protecting us and saying everything is A-OK. -okay. Everything is going to plan. Just relax and enjoy each other. At one point when Catherine was drifting off to sleep, I saw one of my gods named Running Water. I saw his face and saw he was an Indian. At one point we were brothers. We were once in a state of laughing and playing and interacting with the forces of nature. It was such a beautiful connection. I remember coming out of a dream state and all sad, sudden, bam, there he was. We talked to each other for some time. He was the eternal brave. He was forceful, powerful, and full of love. That consciousness lies inside of me. I felt so wonderful the whole night. What a wonderful way to end the week. And this is uh, Richard Fletcher, and this is uh, Monday, October something, and I'm uh, the second day of the Gateway program, and I'm, I'd like to say that I'm, up to this point, I'm diving deeper and discovering more of myself, and I'm very impressed by the whole operation that is happening around here. And let's get away from that thing. This is the energy bar tool. And my experience was was building the energy bar. Was gonna take some time to get into it. Development and this is about a tool you can actually use it for. It wasn't too hard to construct. It was a very, uh, actually, my experience was very, very simple. Uh, I kind of, kind of drifted to sleep. I kind of wasn't there the, the whole time. But I definitely had some powerful connections beforehand seeing that this energy bar could take me to another dimension, could take me to the other side. It's definitely got endless possibilities of what the bar can be used for. Um, definitely through this bar, I think I can probably use it as a beacon for now to attract guides, I can drag other people, I can uh, protect them from other things. So probably all in one versatile uh, tool. And I just need to develop more and more usage of it and see exactly 
where I can actually implement and what way and what form can be reused. And that's the end of that. Top tape, and in this tape, when I experience it, simply lifting myself up to the top of the roof into a cloud, and then I lifted myself up, up past uh, around the area past the moon. And it was a, more of a visualization exercise than the actual lifting. Visualize each step of the process, lifting myself up and um, lowering myself down. And also I visualize it by seeing the sign and actually trying to put myself in that place and, and being in that place inside. Trying to see and feel and put together the kinesiologies of actually lifting up.
this tape was called Problem Solving, and my problem that I'm trying to solve which is a question is whether or not how can I practically do my body consciously that way. And I had one vision of walking down on the stairs for the gate program from upstairs to uh, downstairs. And then as I question it through my question slide and never answer that I found where I'm just saying that I'm being prepared, I'm learning the tools. Don't really worry about it. Like it's simply everything will come to you. This is a magic, relaxing, intimate experience and accepting it. And it will come in this time. And most of all, just be patient. It will come. And these are means. They're not a supernatural thing. For some, not others. But if you just practice it, it will happen. It will manifest. And those. And this was this experience. I basically had. I put out and waited, and I came back. learning now to more visualize and to see images and to accept images and to see that there's something for me to learn from them, something to learn from images, things that maybe in the past I would ignore. But now I have the opportunity to actually focus and perceive And the name of this tape was uh, Free Flow uh, 12. And my main point, my main object was really to explore this state of consciousness. Really, to just let that go and simply enjoy uh, to experience what this place could take me. And it's a very beautiful experience that I had by just completely just being in, in the light and just experiencing that incredible vibration inside and simply just riding with the wave and just riding with the energy and, and being with that and, and seeing the many, many forms inside. And I saw a picture of a person here named uh, Kathy who was here and was experiencing this her inner
a tape called uh, Five Questions. And the first question was, who am I? And my last pass in that time. And then I realized that I was a devotee of Ramakrishna, uh, Krishna, and that was when he was in. And I guess the Lord wrote the gospel of Ramakrishna. Krishna. And that's why one time when I was a kid, I got the book of all of you, who don't even like identify with the open mind. space and they're just talking to me and just so much feeling of just love and energy and emotion and excitement and joy and my body just sweating and just tears in my eyes and I'm just joyous, joyous. And so now I know what NBC was at that time and time again. And it's such a this tape was the introduction to Pivot.
guess this tape was the introduction to 215. And my experience at this tape was that it was brought to a point to work and we really said that it was not there was a tremendous volume, tremendous light. tape experience and yeah, I guess it was just like all, all the rest of the tapes I just brought myself at 10 and then 12 and then 15 and then all of those things <sighs> there was an inner hip-seek within which I clearly just listened to and just wrote that and they just made it faster and faster I just found myself the various states of consciousness, just clearly and easily, just going right there. And just in the 15th state, just, just explored that state. Just beautiful, just being in a place where there's no time, just light and love and happiness and joy. Bad to know that we really don't need it.
Okay, this tape was a relation galaxy. At this point, as soon as I put my headphones on, it's totally discard. And I just went to this place. It's the center of the universe. And then the center of the universe was this incredible power of love. The primordial energy in the universe. And this completely so wonderful, so beautiful. Just to feel the unity of the universe is being supported by this primordial vibration, by this energy, by the word of God. And I visualize state, swallow this beautiful lotus flower just blooming and blooming and blooming. And that place there exists all the masters, my kind, the divine light, that light that exists, the light of God. And I have such a Bob 
has increased that frequency of that one, just got the tune of the frequency of that one. And just went higher and 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 higher
can leave this table is 15 20 and this tape I felt the best kind of resonance around green and purple and that's what the state I felt like I was not in this way getting slower and just
tape was a one month pattern and based on that I kind of zoned out a little bit and I just see that I guess all I have to do is just have something in my mind, hold it, and just repeat it every single day and it will definitely come true to just put it into my subconscious. And what I did from what I plan to do is just that I am incorporating everything in my life. I am incorporating everything that I learned in my life. And that's the main key that I plan to do. Really use these techniques that I have come with in the past week to incorporate them in my life. I'm going to take them. I'm going to do something about them. I'm going to make them productive. I see that I am the director of my life. And I'm in charge of maintaining my emotions and keeping them in check. And it's happening. And at the same time, I experience a beautiful love on the right hand side. Just kind of just joy in there. And there's just such a peace, peace of
name of this day was so Please, from the very last day, I just got Freeform 15. My experience of Freeform 15 was completely, completely wonderful. I just went to such a deep, deep place inside. I had this most wonderful thing that happened there in that state. Kathy was there, and we were just both just beings of light. And there was this this big heart that surrounded us, and we were just totally just one in that heart. And out of that heart, our souls just emerged. There's this light that came from my third eye, and, and came from Kathy's third eye, and just. Totally, it was like two laser beams of light, of love, just merged into both of our bodies. And we just totally just became one. And then it was so beautiful that it was like a sexual experience. It was a form of sexual expression, but it wasn't the sexual energy, it was just pure love. Well, I was just, we were both completely, totally fulfilled in that love, in that joy in that happiness, just total ecstatic self-expression. 
because I was just covered inside of her and, and, and riding that wave inside, riding that, riding that wave of love and just completely, completely, both of us were in tune and just in sync and in one with each other. It was so beautiful coming from Kathy's breast was like this milk, just like light, light form, this light just coming out and out and out and I was drinking and drinking. It was just completely, completely wonderful. And then at one point, uh, Kathy was there along with her daughter Chrissy, and, and she just, both of them just gave me a big, big smile. And then all four of us, my daughter Chanda and I and Chrissy and Kathy were there, and we were just holding hands and just laughing and dancing and singing and playing. And it really was just a, like a family of love, just being, just being in love and, and enjoying each other and laughing and playing and singing. <sighs> Another point uh, after this s sexual self-expression between Kathy and I, she just laid right on top of me. I just held her and hold her and we just exchanged just a wonderful warmth of love between us. Just completely, just both of us were just totally saturated in that love and just totally just in tune with each other. And it was so wonderful, such an, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful feeling. I feel like I've known her for a while, I don't know where, and somehow there's a connection between me and Kathy and, and, and Shri Miraji. I, I really haven't figured it out. But I just have wonderful feelings, you know, knowing that something beautiful and simple is really manifesting in my life. And I'm open to it. I'm open uh, to seeing what will happen between us. And, and to see already, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing that is really happening. And later on, in one of the tapes, one of the questions, they said that I should talk to Kathy and, and, and see that during Thanksgiving, my daughter and I, we should go and visit Kathy and Chrissy and just really just see, you know, what can happen and just make it a, like a family affair. Just maybe we're not a family, but just in essence, just all four people just united in a, in a simple spirit of, of joy and happiness. Just to play and have fun and just really be of who, what we are. <sighs> yes, that's the end of that. Okay, the introduction to uh, Focus 21 was a completely, completely mind-blowing experience. Just Bob, as soon as I put on my headphones, I'm just totally united in that light. Just completely submerged in that love inside. Just totally just taken over. Just like I was flying and with a whole group of swans and this is an incredible lake where there was all these lotus flowers just blooming and blooming. I just went through the various stages of consciousness. He took me from ten to twelve to fifteen to the different colors. And at twenty one a most marvelous thing happened. Bob was there just shining and just in his joyful self. He just looked at me in his form and said, he gave me the thumbs up sign and says, go for it, you know, just enjoy it, you know, just really enjoy the show. And there was just so much love and communication between us. I recognized him and he recognized me and just like, yeah, both of us know this is an incredible, incredible journey, the ultimate journey. And from then on, uh, once he said that, you know, I was just completely just ready just to accept and to experience 
going into that wonderful, wonderful light that I'm, I'm used to, but just going it into a new way of seeing how beautiful of what an incredible place that is. And I just totally went there and just experienced that light, which is just supreme love and happiness, and it completely fulfilled me. Every single cell, every single molecule in my whole body was just resonating in that light. And I was just one, just bathing in that light, bathing in that joy, and just being in that atmosphere, just flying like a swan, flying like that beautiful bird, the most beautiful bird in the face of life, that swan, which is free. And I felt like my soul was just free. My soul was just seen in that joy, in that happiness inside. And I was just one. It was so wonderful. And one of the most magnificent tip experiences was uh, Free Form 21. I don't know if there's any words to describe really what happened there. From the moment I put on my headphones throughout the whole process, I was completely riding the wave of ecstasy, the wave of joy. And that was techn technical. Bob was just a genius to develop that because the sounds that he was emanating were the sounds, were the frequencies that exist inside. It was completely a marvelous, marvelous experience. Just to be completely, completely inside that experience, that experience of joy. And at several times throughout that, you know, I would just have these wonderful visions of, of seeing uh, Kathy and just being with her and she was smiling at me and then I would just drift away and just once again just dive more and deeper and deeper and deeper into that joy and just going deeper and deeper and deeper into that light. And my whole body was just like an astronaut experiencing the G's and the different types of energies, how powerful and how incredible they are and how it just touches a very molecular system of my whole being and even beyond that just goes to that point of just reaching the soul, reaching the very essence of life. And I just feel so wonderful knowing that everything is really happening in my life. That I have a vision, I have a quest and it's happening and it's working. And I have some very good feelings about me and Kathy. And ever since last night, I just, just really am accepting and open and receptive to what's going to happen. And to know that I found somebody who wants to have that same type of experience that I'm yearning for and learning and want to be in, and that I can being in a foundation myself of strength and joy and that she wants to be in that same place herself. And that's such a beautiful thing, such a beautiful foundation just to build something on. When, when both people are building their lives upon that inner experience and diving for it and going for it and just thriving for it. And I'm just in a very, very happy place very happy place knowing that all my dreams are really coming true on all levels. I guess one experience I really would like to express is that my very last night I went to bed about 12 I was kind of tired and I just needed just to go inside and experience that inner beauty and just reside there and, and be by myself. So I went to sleep and I just got absorbed and just went inside and drifted and just was in that world of love. And I fell into a nice, nice 
deep sleep. At around three o'clock sharp in the morning, I woke, bam, automatically just woke right up, wide awake. And something inside of me told me, go take a shower. And after I take a shower, I go upstairs and, and visit Kathy. So I did this. And it was so wonderful. And so I was kind of wondering, well, what am I doing? But I just had that faith and had that trust, that intuition, that something was just telling me. Some of my guys were, were just telling me, there, this is something that, that do it right now. Don't question it, just do it. So I did it. So I went up to Kathy's room and I went into her room and went very quietly, very slowly and opened up you know, the curtain and slowly, just very gently touched her, and she looked at me, and, and I could tell <laughs> she was kind of in a state of uh, shock herself, because she, she didn't know, you know, if I was in my astral body or what was happening. She thought, you know, I really just flew, because all she could see was my uh, was my head and shoulders. She couldn't see the rest of my body. So then she was kind of startled. She looked, what, you know, what, what's happening here? She says, is that, is that you or, or is that a ghost? <laughs> you know, but I just, you know, reassured her, you know, the yes, you know, that was me. And then I just, you know, climbed in with her and just, just the whole night, you know, we just held each other and just, just exchanged that feelings, the emotions, the experience of love between one another. We just caressed each other and, and held each other. And there was such a warm, warm inner, inner exchange of love. It wasn't like a, a sexual energy. Maybe at times it was a, a little bit that would manifest. But it was more just the energy of love, energy of satisfaction and of joy, and of just being with each other and, and feeling each other and just caressing each other. It was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. I mean, what a way to end, end the week. Just with somebody that, that you love and somebody that maybe I knew in the past, which I probably did, and once again am discovering, you know, discovering of how beautiful we can really make it. And just to take one step at a time. It is so wonderful, and I remember at I just at times I was aware of myself snoring, and yet I was in such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful state inside, just completely seen and being surrounded by love, by that light, by that joy, by that inner music, and by that inner energy, just completely bathed in that. And just seeing this beautiful, beautiful swans just completely surrounding Kathy and I. Just like protecting us and saying, yes, you know, everything is A-OK. -okay. Everything is going according to plan. Just relax and really enjoy each other and just help one another. And at one time, you know, at one point, you know, Kathy was just drifting away and in her sleep. And then I saw for the first time one of my Indian guides called Running Water. And it was so wonderful. I, I saw his face. I saw him as an Indian. And at one time, Running Water, you know, was my physical brother. We were brothers and we were, we were in a state of just running and laughing and playing and discovering the forces of nature together. And he, and here he is now, he was my guide, he was my friend, and I saw him. And it was such a beautiful, beautiful connection. Because for a long time, I really wanted to know. I really wanted to see him. I knew we were friends. And we had such a brilliant communication between each other. And I, I went into a, a somewhat of a dream state. And right after I came out of my dream state, BAM! There he was. Just mm, running water. <laughs> just, just like that, that e eternal brave. Just forceful, powerful, and yet just full of love, just full of guidance, full of acceptance. And that consciousness lies inside of me. And I just felt so wonderful that whole night. I've just, the whole night, just 
I'm three on just holding, holding Kathy in my arms and caressing her. And sometimes we just gently would kiss each other and then just holding her and holding her and just transmitting that love that I had just into her and just being there. And it was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful.